All right, our second axiom is called anonymity. Uh, so uh, I'm going to refer it as A. Um, the basic idea is very simple. All citizens votes should count equally. All right, so the voting rule shouldn't uh, favor any voters or any group of voters, uh, which is what we expect uh, from a democratic election, right? So uh, the formal description is rather uh, complicated, or at least it looks complicated. But again, the main idea is very uh, simple. All citizens' votes should count equally, or the voting rule shouldn't favor any individual or any group of individuals. Well, mathematically, how do we describe this? Well, this is how we do it. Well, fix any permutation of the uh, voters, all right? Uh, remember, the permutation is basically a function from the set of uh, voters to set of voters. It's a one-to-one -one and onto uh, uh, mapping. So fix any pi, all right? Uh, well, we are going to change the name of the uh, agents, all right? Uh, this is why we use this permutation. For any preference profile u on the uh, restricted domain u, let u of pi be the profile of preferences such that for any individual i or for any voter i, u i pi, meaning uh, the agent i's, the voter i's preferences in this permutated uh, uh, payoff vector, uh, permutated preference profile is nothing but the utility or the preference of the agent pi i, okay? Well, then for any subset y of x, if, so that part is the key, if the voting rule chooses alternative x under this profile u and within the set y, well then once we permit the payoff, uh, not payoff, I'm sorry, preference profile u by this pi, well the, but I keep exactly the same set of candidates, well, the voting rule should still select uh, or elect X, okay? That's what uh, uh, anonymity means. Well, namely, if we permute a profile of preferences so that voter J gets I's preferences, K gets J's preferences, and so on and so forth, well, then the winner remains the same because the name of, or the identity of the voters is not important, okay? Um, I don't know if it is going to help, but think it this way. Let's suppose I have three voters. Voter number one, number two, all well, these are their name, let's suppose, and voter number three. Forget about the utility function. Here, I'm just going to focus on ordinal preferences. Uh, agent one prefers A, B to C, two prefers C, B to A, and then three prefers B, C, to A, okay? Well, what is the choice of F here, all right? This is U, this is uh, Y. Well, let's suppose it is A, okay? Well, this definition says, think of any permutation, all right? So here's the permutation. Pi one is two, pi two is three, and pi three is one, all right? So basically, the new uh, voter 2 is actually old uh, voter 1, the new voter 3 is old voter 2, and the new voter 1 is the old voter 2. All right, this is how I permute. Well, then it says, think of another preference profile where <clears throat> agent 2, 3, and 1 gets the following. Remember, the, the new agent 2 is previous agent 1, so it's A, B, C. And uh, new agent three is the old agent two, so it's CBA. And then the third one is the, 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 yeah, the new uh, voter one is the old uh, player three, or voter three. I'm sorry, I keep uh, you know, using player and voter interchangeably. Um, so BCA. So in fact, here, these two profiles are exactly the same profiles of preferences. Just the names of the, I mean, here, uh, player one declares A to B, B to C, but here player two declares it. Well, the thing is, the F under this U pi Y should still be A, all right? 
Um, so the voting rule shouldn't be focusing on the name of the voters. It should be focusing on the candidates only. All right. Um, well, again, as I said, most of the voting rules that I described at the beginning satisfy that quite intuitive property. But obviously, if, if the voting rule you, that you're applying is giving priority to uh, some candidates, like, uh, for example, the most senior candidate, I'm sorry, the most senior voter uh, gets to choose his, uh, you know, alternative, best alternative. So, you know, if, if your rule, choice rule is something like this, well, then this clearly violates anonymity because it actually does uh, give special importance uh, or focus on some voters and not others. Okay, so this is what anonymity is. And as I said, I'm going to refer this uh, for the rest of this chapter as uh, axiom A.